Kerala. Today I'm going to Shiba city to see the monorail. I didn't know it was actually a real thing. I thought it was just depicted in anime, but then I saw a picture of it and I was like, I need to see this with my own eyes. So we're going to Shiba. I don't really have anything else planned to do there. This is one of the rare occasions where I am doing something completely unplanned. Crazy! <laughs> okay, I'm there. I'm in Shiba. I need to replenish my glucose supply. I used to be someone that could go on a five-day trip without eating a single thing but ever since I got older, so like a week ago <laughs> I... Mm, so good. I need to replenish my strength every time I take a transportation system for some reason so this is me recharging my mana The Shiba Urban Monorail looks like a flying train, although it's pretty unusual for a train to be attached from the roof and casually fly over a city, it's not the only one of its kind. From what I've gathered, there's one in Germany called the Wuppertal Schubibahn. Wow! Anyway, going back to Shiba, their monorail is actually the longest in the world. I think the two hour train ride from Tokyo was 200% worth it just because of how weird and eerie the monorail looked. It's a train that's suspended in the air and hangs above you upside down. Look at it sliding. Riding the train is the most eerie thing in the world. It can get as elevated as the fifth or sixth floor of some building and having a bird's view of the cars and street below as they follow us is kind of wild. By the way, if you like fun facts and if you're watching this, you probably do and you're looking at the Shiba monorail and you're wondering why well according to my research the population of Shiba town increased tenfold between the 1940s and the 2000s which consequently led to a lot of traffic congestion and environmental issues around 1960 the Shiba prefecture and town decided to address these issues by implementing a suspension monorail because it would be economically efficient comfortable and offer stability and added urban aesthetics Shiba's monorail is low in noise and can also gracefully handle severe curves and gradients so that was amazing 10 over 10 would recommend and i found a cool cafe that i'm gonna eat at before going back to tokyo i've searched online and there are a couple of things to do in shiba but honestly i'm just here to look at the monorail so mission complete this is where i'm gonna eat that's right next to the monorail this is the whole team of this video Oh, you can eat in the cabana. Let's go see the cabana. One thing to note is that you can't eat upstairs. You can only drink. And they serve alcoholic beverages. Dude, this is so cool. Wow. Wow is the team of the vlog as well <laughs> oh cozy <laughs> oh, wow very romantic i'm gonna eat here with the view of the monorail uh Wow! Saraha doesn't get boring. Very nice. 